Hi everyone, it's Dave at Vinyl Nirvana and today I'm going to be going over how to remove the cueing mechanism in a RB uh, series tone arm. This is an RB300. I'm really actually not 100% sure if this is the procedure on all of the Riga arms and all of the newer ones, but uh, anyway I'll know it, you'll know it'll work with an RB300. The two tools that you need are um, a very fine jeweler's screwdriver. I mean this is a very very small blade. Um, and then you need a, an Allen wrench that's either 1.27 millimeters or 0.5 um, inches. Um, I'm sorry, 0.5 like <laughs> fraction of an inch. Uh, much smaller than a half an inch obviously. Um, and I got a paper towel here because when I did the dry run of this there is some silicone on the inside and you don't want to end up with that all over your, your tone arm and the surfaces of everything. So uh, this is the cueing mechanism here. Um, if you're having problems uh, with that, replacing it, um, going to add more fluid to it, whatever, um, this is the procedure to do that. So the first thing you're going to do is use your Allen wrench to remove the uh, top cue arm here. And I'm just not removing that all the way, just two or three turns. And when I did the dry run of this, this was actually really hard to remove. I had to do a lot of twisting uh, to get that off. But that comes off, and again, be careful not to lose the Allen wrench. Then you've got this, uh, what is a cap down below. And again, you're going to use that thin bladed screwdriver to grab an edge under here and get that started. And the cap comes right off. And now what you're faced with are is this, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a washer, but it's, it's threaded and it's got two tiny holes in it. And you've got to, with the um, small bladed screwdriver, grab one of those holes and turn counterclockwise. So, um, mine, when I did this the first time, it was a little tight, it wasn't bad. But if you're turning counterclockwise, it didn't take too much effort to, to get that out. And the main thing you need to be careful about when doing this is just that um, it doesn't fall out at the end in the spring and piston and everything get messed up. At some point you can lift it up and turn it with a fingernail if you want. You can keep, if you don't want to do that, you can also just up. See how that just popped right out, so you've got to be careful of that. And then this just drops down, and that's the cueing mechanism, which you can replace, um, or you can find information on the internet about how to add uh, damping fluid to it and try to correct the situation you might be having. Uh, I'm not going to go into that today. I'm just going to uh, show the um, removal and now the reinstallation of the piece. And you don't need to use the screwdriver to get it started. You can use your fingers. By the way, the cueing barrel just goes in in one direction. You can't really mess that up. You can feel it when you go to put it in that it's only going to go in in one place with a slot that's in there. Then you're going to turn this clockwise to get that back in. And obviously you're going to put your cap back on. Again, that only goes on in one direction. And then your Q-arm is the last thing that goes on. And with the Allen wrench you will tighten that. And most likely when you get the arm back on, or if you didn't take the arm off and did it with it in place, you're going to have to adjust this height you know, by actually working with it on a record to see whether you got the right height. But that's the removal of the barrel. Um, and if you are going to have to remove the arm for this, this is the nut uh, that you're going to do that with. Um, it's possible you won't have to remove it from the whole table. Um, and in some cases, I know when I install one of these, I also use some um, thread lock. Uh, I don't use the heaviest duty one, but I usually use a medium thread lock. So, you know, you do have to kind of clamp onto this to get it off the first time. But then you can lift this up and possibly do the repair. Uh, just above the table when you're ready to drop the barrel out and the other in the repaired barrel in or the new barrel in um, or possibly um, you can do it without having to remove this nut at all but I'm just mentioning that in case you have to and that's it and uh, you know again you might, might want to use a paper towel to clean up any of the surfaces you might have got silicone on 
and I hope that you found this helpful.